Okay, let's talk about the fridge effect. Remember fridge, boom, carried the ball seven times to make seven million dollars. He became a household phenom. Okay, and the more money he got paid, the more money everyone else in the league got paid. Does it make sense? But that's exactly what was going on. Fridge would carry the football. People didn't know in high school he was a fullback. And you couldn't stop him, so he was unstoppable. But what was he doing carrying the ball anyway? Well, let's go Ditka versus Bill Walsh at the 49ers. Okay, this is bad blood. They're not like Buddy Ryan and Ditka who after 25 years are finally getting back together now. This is bad blood. They don't like each other. They don't like what each other stands for. When they compete against them, they want to punish each other. They want to dominate them. And if they have a chance to run up the score, they're going to run up the score and jam the balls down their throat. Why? Ditka used to sit there and make fun of Bill Walsh's offense, saying it was a little wussy boy offense. It was a little bunch of kids with some little uh, creative design that they didn't know how to hit people. And that may burn Bill Walsh. And so when Bill Walsh lined up, they played against the Bears. And in one goal line, it was a goal line stand that was about to change forever. And Bill Walsh put one of his guards, it was a position that right here, and put him in fullback. And he put him back in the backfield, and he had him block. Everyone in the stands was watching this. It was nothing. You didn't have to do it. The 49ers had won the game. But it was like a backhanded slap to humiliate him and did it on national TV to run up the score. That bad blood had dick seeding. And his ultimate revenge was going to come the day when he put number 72 back on offense. And he was going to face... The 49ers. I'll talk about that in just a minute. And you're going to see the unbelievable thing that happened that changed the league forever. All this stuff was going on with the 85 Bears when we played them in the Super Bowl. I was the left tackle. My name is Brian Holloway. I lined up with John Hanna. Uh, we had a great, talented, powerful team. But there was something going on in the background that we discovered. And when we hit that field, we saw a team we never, ever, ever expected. Plus, you will also hear the truth about what was going on with the New England Patriots side with the organization that was crumbling all around us in that moment, and no one could tell anybody.